probably comes, I'm going to punch him out. This is oh, my no, mom. I would pay to see that. I'm waiting for this, for trespassing on the Capitol grounds. I'm going to punch him out, and I'm going to go to jail, and I'm going to be happy. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're going to punch him out. This should be good. Remember this? Nancy Pelosi couldn't even stand up on her own. You think she's going to throw a punch at the former president? So much for the party of tolerance, I guess. And if she does, I got your back. Me and my son, Mr. President, we've been training for this our whole lives. We won't let her anywhere near you. That's my little man. Isn't it remarkable, though? Nancy Pelosi's well-known documentary-producing daughter. I've never heard of her, but she, apparently she's well-known. But she was on the scene shooting video in the moments after the riots. I'm, I'm sure it's up on the January 6th committee website, probably paid for by our tax dollars. The best part, and th this is why I love the guy, th that Trump sort of indicating he would testify, only if it was live. Let's let that embarrassment reign in real time. Joining me now is someone that has had a front seat to all the schemes by Democrats in the deep state, Eric Trump himself. Eric, appreciate you joining us tonight. Make the popcorn, Carl. Make the popcorn. Sit back, have a beer. Um, <laughs> if he was to go in there, and I would encourage him almost to, yeah. Um, I remember it. I was there when he authorized the National Guard's troops. I remember that very well. I also remember, as you said, when Bowser effectively turned them down and Nancy Pelosi turned them down. It's really interesting that they um, that they did that. But, you know, these people have so much to account for. This committee is made up of sham people, as you said very well. Is Cheney got run out of our state because people are so infuriated by what they're doing. It doesn't poll in the top 10 issues. Not a single person cares about the January 6th hearings. You know what people care about? The fact that gas is the most expensive it's ever been, inflation is through the roof. Yeah, uh, our world is no longer safe. America has become the laughing stock under the Biden administration. He hasn't gotten a single bit of foreign policy correct, and every single thing that my father said was going to happen in this country has yeah. happened. I mean, every single thing yeah. has has happened, Carl. And yeah, I, it's crazy to me that the fact that they sit there and they try to demonize over the same stuff, nobody's buying it. I think, like, this has dropped out of the top 30 things by the last poll that I read. I want to read you another part of that memo your father sent to the Jan 6 committee. Quote, you stated openly that Nancy Pelosi is off limits. There will be no discussions on the subject, yet she and the mayor were responsible for this very bad decision not to bring in the troops. The troops are ready to go. You refuse to even discuss the subject. Why? This is the problem. You don't have any Republicans. I mean, Liz Cheney is not really a Republican, neither is Adam Kinzinger. Um, certainly not elected anymore after January. But they, they will not get any opposing opinions. They will not do any cross-examinations. Where do we go from here if that's not the, how Congress works anymore? Well, you know, unfortunately, Carla's family, we've lived this the entire time, right? I mean, I was there for the Russia hoax and, you know, the second impeachment and... You know, we, we, there's never any representation. And right now, all this is is a pylon. If anybody doesn't think that this whole thing is, is coordinated, I mean, this week it comes out that the FBI was willing to pay an informant $1 million, $1 million, Carl, to, <laughs> you know, validate a story that they wanted to be true about a guy who was running for president at that time. Now, you go through New York City, you'll see this thing called cop shot, right? $10,000 mm -hmm. if somebody gives information on a cop that was shot in New York. So, they're willing to pay $10,000 for a cop that was shot, but in order to get a guy that they don't like, they're willing to pay a million dollars? I mean, that's a pretty well, big insult to the whole system. How, how much they're willing to actually put their cash on the plate to, to make sure that, you know, a guy who right. wanted to serve, who put all his money into it, who was willing to give up his life to do a great job and did do a great job, couldn't get into their little fiefdom of power. And we're used to this. We see this with the New York AG every single day. We see this with the January 6th committee. You see it in... You know, Georgia, you see it with other DAs all across the country. Mm -hmm. You saw it with Russia. You saw it with Ukraine. I mean, how many more hoaxes do, you know, we need to live through as a family that we know are totally right. false?